Hi, this is PC Roger, and welcome to this short video where I'm going to talk about some rather nasty emails that you might be seeing that are really designed to look authentic and tempting to open, and I wanted to warn you about them so that hopefully you do not open them and infect your PC. As you can see here, I've got uh, just a couple of ones that have come here recently that I've seen. One uh, says invoice from iTunes.com, and the sender was actually a faked email address that uh, I've edited here. Uh, for uh, purposes of the video, and the uh, real iTunes uh, invoices don't come uh, looking like that, I don't believe. And if you haven't bought anything from iTunes, obviously that's a good reason not to open it as well. But the the other one here has been pretty prevalent. It says, you know, DHL service, you should get the parcel, delivery number, whatever, and, you know, the manager and a name, and, and oh boy, it looks uh, looks kind of authentic, but it is not. And there's an attachment here. And if you would open this, they would tell you that, hey, you know, there's a bad address and you need to uh, open the, the attachment and print this label and that's how you get your, your package. There is a virus in that attachment and uh, on my particular machine, the virus was stripped out by my rather high-end firewall before it ever got to my machine and it is uh, just kind of replaced it with uh, uh, some, some text. There's a real danger here in opening these types of emails and you really should never open any email that you're suspicious of or that has an attachment when you're not expecting an attachment. And this is one reason I advise people with Outlook or other email programs not to have the fancy backgrounds uh, and those kinds of things that show up to a recipient as an attachment even though there isn't one just because of the the actual the actual uh, you know theme or design they have in the email because you should not open an email that has an attachment unless you're expecting an attachment from someone and sometimes that's you know simply the fact that you pick up the phone and call the person uh, if you know them and if you, you send them a return email and say uh, hey did, did there was an attachment did you really mean to send that because maybe they don't know they sent it because of a, a virus on their machine sent it on their behalf so uh, and and if you don't if you don't know the person enough to call them or email them then you should definitely not open an attachment from someone you don't know these can be very harmful to your PC very difficult to to fix and to clean and they can be very very damaging so get this message out because uh, I have been seeing an awful lot of this and they are getting better you know they are looking like they are authentic but uh, when you dig into the the nuts and bolts of them which I've done on some of these and, and that's beyond the scope of this video I can see it actually came from a server in Brazil and since I'm in the United States that's uh, that's a big uh, uh, warning flag right there but but since you don't have access to all that you really need to be uh, suspicious of things and just don't open it if you have any doubts that's it for this video thanks for watching